Hi Josh, we're back with some more Mass Effect. This is a continuation of the first stream, so there are still some audio gremlins. But I hope you can look past that, because we're going to jump right back into the action. Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. I think maybe honesty is the best policy here. No. I came on my own. I need information. You humans are always so curious. Always sticking your fingers into someone else's pie. Is that the right expression? <laughs> into someone else's pie? Uh, never mind. Forget I asked. <laughs> Was there something you needed, Commander? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. If the Council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet, that's their business. But I don't have to like it. The Council treats us like second-class citizens. We have to fight for everything we get. Good. Then fight for it. But don't expect the rest of us to just sit back and let you take it. I'm a busy man, Commander. Are we done here? What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the Council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the Council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. He's yeah, a real right. law and order type you of guy. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres? <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. The galaxy needs people like that. People who do the dirty jobs. I agree. But they need to be held to a higher standard. They need to be accountable. Saren's out of control. We both know that. But because he's a Spectre, the Council doesn't want to do anything about it. Is that the kind of person this galaxy needs? Hmm. I think maybe we should say no. But not all Spectres are like Saren. True. But the potential is always there. Well, that's true. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the Council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Fair enough, sir. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. I don't see any little indicators over here. What's in here? The neat little lounge. I like it. Oh, hello. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. Oh, she's very busy. We better leave her alone. Don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. What do you want? Oh, Commander. Oh. Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. Right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... Things. You never things. want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. Uh, I will. Have fun, Ashley. Then. Don't be shitty. All right. I think we go to the other side now. Is that down this way? I think that's down this way. You still want me to go this way? Why do you want me to go here? Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. 
There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel Embassies and CSEC Headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I have already done all of Goodbye. this. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why are you telling me to go thank here? thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. Yeah, it's telling me to go here, or maybe it's above me. I don't know. Oh, boy. I did not mean to do that. Don't be pulling out your gun in the Citadel Dam. Let's go upstairs. Anybody? Hello? Anybody home? Oh, jeez. Alright, let's try this again. I have no idea what I'm doing here. Nope, no clue. I'll figure that out eventually. For now, I'm just missing out. Hey, little guy! Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. Chastising remark. Don't be so <laughs> rude, Dan. At least introduce yourself. <sighs> I am Din Korlak, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? He's rude. What is this place? You are in the embassy for the Volus and the Elcor. Your ambassador is next door, in his own office. In this shared space, I aid my fellow Volus when I'm not being interrupted. I'd like to know more about the Volus. I'm sure our history and culture would bore you, Earth Clan. Actually, I would like to know more about your history. My people came to the Citadel shortly after the Asari and Salarians had discovered it. We were instrumental in establishing a standardized galactic economy. However, despite our long association with the Citadel and our many contributions to galactic society, we still do not hold a seat on the Council. Tell me about Volus culture. We are tribal by nature, but our ways are not violent. We barter and trade our lands and tribe members in order to increase status. Larger tribes often engulf smaller ones and eventually split again. Our society is very malleable, and our government is always shifting and changing. Since we're not physically adept, we trade our services for protection. I like the Volus. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the Council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The Council favors your species greatly. You are naive. The Earth Clan will be invited to the Council long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the Council? All species must prove themselves before they join the Council. All but the Earth Clans, it would seem. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus Ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. Really? How long have we been waiting? How long do you think we'll continue to wait? Bah! This talk is wasted on the humans. You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Din. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. <sighs> Chastising rebuke, Din. Your species has always been granted many concessions. Volus territory has expanded tenfold since coming to the Citadel. <laughs> Details. We still have no real say in the decisions that affect Citadel space. Goodbye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, so Earth Clan. Cranky. Please greeting. 
Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalen. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through sentence-like movements. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our conversations to other species. Why do you bother, Kalen? These Earth Clan don't really care about our ways. Remorseful response, Din. You don't truly believe that. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. <laughs> I love the Elcor so much. Tell me more about your species. Genuine enthusiasm. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elcor. The Elcor were just beginning to explore Council's space when the Asari first made contact with us. With their help, we discovered the relay closest to our system, and from there the Citadel. Proudly. Within one lifetime we established a regular route to the Citadel, and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight-knit groups, though we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. I kind of feel like maybe I'm an Elcor. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the Elcor groups to the attention of the Council. Ha! They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The Council doesn't care about our races. Chastising rebuke. Your tone is inappropriate, Dan. This human is not to blame for your malcontent or your misconceived suspicions. Aww. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sincere Peace farewell. The sky. Good day to you, human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. How about you? Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. You seem distressed. Is there something I can do to help? Alarmed response. You overheard <laughs> that, did you? Alarmed response. This is all going so wrong. <laughs> and it is the Asari consort's fault. She's the one who started all this. Oh boy, what, what happened? What did this Asari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Suffice it to say... She has compromised my authority as a diplomat. Where can I find the Cesari Consort? She is across the bridge from here. Her offices are easy enough to spot. Good day, human. Aww. Nice Elcor guy. Alright, still nobody in here, huh? Okay. Hmm. Wait, have I been in here yet? Can I get in here? No, I can't. Okay. Huh. <laughs> yeah. Alright, well, it's still telling me to go here, and I don't know Welcome why. To Presid On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss I have already matters done of all interstellar of these. importance. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using Avena. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. I'm not really sure. I, is that X just showing me where the terminal is? I feel like maybe it is. Alright, do you do you want me to go here? Is that why you're pointing at it? Hmm. Citadel Tower. Sure, why not? We'll give that a shot. I have arrived at the Citadel Tower. Oh my. Oh, it's so pretty. Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the Council? Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. 
It's Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vicarian. I was the officer in charge of the CSEC investigation into Saren. Hmm. I think right down the middle here. What did you Come find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid. But I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the Council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Can I talk to Garrus anymore? You don't keep nope. The okay. Waiting. You're right. I don't want to keep them waiting. Don't be ridiculous. The Bolas won't be joining the Council for years. I'm not so sure. <laughs> the humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Bolas will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Bolas? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. You may be right. Will the Hanar need to lighten up a bit first? You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. Interesting. Oh, nope. Exit. I didn't realize that was the rapid transit node. All right, Captain. The hearing's already started. Come on. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow specter and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. Oh boy. Hmm. Which way do I go? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. But what can you expect from a human? Hmm. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that! That's not his decision! Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor. And mine. Hmm. I think maybe I'll find proof. You can't hide behind the Council forever. There is still one outstanding issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the Beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? Hmm... How do we play this? You've made your decision. I won't waste my breath.
The Council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. Oh, was it Saren? This meeting is adjourned. Yeah, that's that's one of the problems with the the dis or the options in the the discussion tree is that no matter what you choose, your character is going to say something it different than what you thought. Bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason: to exterminate the entire human race. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. I want to know how he knows Saren. Tell me about this history Saren. between you and Saren. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. Now what? What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. Hmm. I'll talk to him. Any idea where we can find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Ooh. I'm gonna defend my captain. You can't just cut Captain Anderson out of this investigation. I'm a good soldier. The Ambassador's right. I need to step aside. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the wards. Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? Ooh. An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the highest bidder. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About yeah, 20 years on, ago. Tell me. I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Oof. Yeah, he's a monster. Killing innocents doesn't end wars. It causes them. I know how the world works, Commander. Sometimes you're forced to make unpleasant decisions. But only if there's no other way. Saren doesn't even look for another option. He's twisted, broken. He likes the violence, the killing. And he knows how to cover his tracks. All right, let's investigate. Ooh, there's a lot of choices here. Our ambassador doesn't seem to get along with the council. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Verge and the Attican Traverse. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Hmm. Maybe they'd let us join the Council if we were more willing to cooperate with the other species. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the Council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal for us. I understand their side. They don't want us dominating the Council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. You don't think much of Harkin. The guy joined CSEC about 20 years ago. He's been an embarrassment to our species ever since. Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. 
The embassy used to step in when he got in trouble. But I guess enough was enough. Guy's a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first human CSEC officers. Guess it would have looked bad if he got fired. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes, but it looks like his time's agree. running. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protecting him. I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government agency. They tend to work alone, behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Hmm. They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under a hundred. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. They're the Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a Spectre shows up, you know something big is about to happen. How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply to join. There's no training program. Spectres aren't made. They're born. The Council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. Oh my. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each Spectre answers directly to the Council. Sometimes they're sent on specific missions. Other times, they act on their own. They tend to operate outside the law, do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. The Council just turns a blind eye. Spectres have a lot of power, Shepard. What happens when a Spectre goes rogue, like Saren? It doesn't happen often. The Council is careful when they select their candidates. But when something does go wrong, there's usually only one solution. Send another Spectre to bring the rogue agent down. Well, that sounds like even more foreshadowing. Tell me about Bar Levon. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, Spectres. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. You and Saren have a history. Oh, come on. About now. 20 years ago. Yeah, we've Saren already been through. his on. target, but I saw how he operates. No conscience, no hesitation. Tell me about the Shadow Broker. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game, and the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics, doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is, or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. I should okay. go. I think Good that's luck, enough sir. from the captain. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Well, I'm sorry this is less exciting than I thought it would be. Uh, I really forgot how slow the beginning of the game can be. I don't suppose there's anything... No, would you stop that? Put away your gun, you idiot. Okay. Uh, before we... Before we move anywhere else, I'm gonna take another quick break. Uh, I have been hydrating this whole game. And it's definitely getting to me. So, I will switch over to this, and I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. Let's... No, put your gun away, idiot. There we go. Where are we heading now? Ooh, we can go down to the wards? Yeah, let's go to Korra's Den and find this guy. Let's go find this drunk dude. A gentleman's club? Really? That's her. No, what? Why are we... Oh, my. Let's see if we can throw. No, there, there you go. Throw that guy. Well, I leveled up right in the middle of combat. That's nice. Those were Saren's men. Not now, Commander. I'm not trying to talk to you, Caden. I'm trying to get out of cover. Are we done here? Alright. Into the club, I guess. Uh, no. We're not, we're not gonna get a lap dance. I got business here, but not with you. Go away. I'm not interested in talking. Not now. I'm watching the show. Back off, Rex. Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting oh, for? Oh, it's Rex! Right here. Oh, this I is love Rex. His only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. Oh. No, I want to talk to... Well, I guess I can talk to this guy. The back rooms are private. Reserved for Fist and his friends. Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. <laughs> well, that was a club. brief conversation. Let's see if we can come over here and talk to Rex. Human military. Nope, that's just a regular patron. Okay. Sorry, I'll get to you when I can. Oh, super busy, huh? Anything else happening in this club? Anything exciting? I guess I I wanted to talk to this guy before I found Rex. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? Cause I gotta say, that soldier get-up looks real good on that body of yours. Oh my. Why sit your sweet little ass down inside, old Harkin? Have a drink. See where this goes. <laughs> um, well, let's see. He's, he's kind of foul. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on the razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. After 20 years with CSEC, I've been called every name in the book, princess. Hmm. Well, he's kind of a dick. Call me princess again and you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Hmm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard still trying to bring Saren down. I know where Garrus is. You gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Ooh. Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a Spectre. Didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush-hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Oh, Screwed up his intrigue mission so bad secrecy. he kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. You said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you Jesus. got them, you might as well spread them around. <laughs> You're a pig. 
Just noticed that now, did you? Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details. But it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> Why should I believe a drunk like you? Fine. Ask Anderson. I bet he tells you. He's too stupid and proud to lie right to your face. All right, whatever. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back there. Hmm. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. <laughs> That's probably why he climbed the Alliance ranks so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why'd you go ask him about that? You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons. This ain't no church. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? Executors suspended me without pay. Recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe that? Yes, I can believe that. Every mistake Good I Lord. ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Good Skip Lord. A couple of credits off a drug this guy bus, is a scumbag. File. It's a goddamn witch hunt. You get off easy if you ask me. What the hell do you know? Working for C-Sec isn't like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Yeah. Investigations, inquiries, rules, regulations. Oh my god, he sounds like every Every American cop. Through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. Oh, I'm out fuck of here. off. I hate yeah, this guy. Go. Let me drink in peace. Oh, he's a he's a piece of trash, man. That guy's awful. Why didn't Captain Anderson tell us he used to be a Spectre? Maybe it's not true. Parkins Get over here, you guys. He's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. I would also like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. All right. Well, I guess we can wander out this way. Hmm. What's over here? Lower markets. Hmm. What's up here? Ooh. Dark, shady hallway? Yes, please. What's this? Elevator leads up to the Presidium. Oh, okay. Ooh. CSEC Academy. I don't think I need to go there. Pretty view? Yes, it is. Wow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Big place. That your professional opinion, sir? This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Hmm. 
The council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. Aye, aye, Commander. That's right. Keep your tongue secured firmly inside your mouth, young man. Commander Shepard? Excuse me? Oh, I'm it's Emily the reporter, Wong. isn't it? I'm an investigative journalist working here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. Hmm. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. You gotta have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. According to your file, you survived back on Akuz when everyone else in your squad got killed. If Man, anyone can love find bringing the worst that up. elements of the Citadel and live to tell about it, it's you. Hmm. No promises, but if I find anything relating to your case, I'll inform you. Thank you, Commander. You won't regret it. Yeah, I didn't want to make any promises I couldn't keep, but I also didn't want to tell her to fuck off. I feel like, uh, play in the middle with her might be the right idea. Where does this go? Ooh. Another great view. Aha! More rapid transit. And another person I can talk to. I don't tell this mod. Look, I know it was you. I remember your face. Really, that's impressive. Usually you humans can't tell one Turian from another. This was the place. Now are you gonna give me a refund or not? Do you have your proof of purchase? <laughs> no, no, I, I I don't think you ever gave me one. Oh, oh good sorry. lord. I can't. Best place on this ward to buy upgrades. Oh yeah? Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from, my goods are available to all. Let's see what you got. Show me what you got. Show Most me what you excellent. got. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Oh, good lord. That's expensive. Is there anything I can sell? Oh. Uh, I do want to sell the phasic rounds. Because I don't care about them. Just, just that. Sure. Yeah, I'm guessing all of this stuff is pretty expensive. Oh no, actually it's not. Combine license? Oh! It's a license for the Quartermaster, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Come on. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, you know what, I don't feel like I need to be buying anything right now. Uh. Yeah. Just, uh, let's go talk to this Is guy. That really? You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Uh, okay. Nice to meet you. And you are? My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> yeah. They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. Hey, I know you're probably busy, but, um, do you have time for a quick autograph? Hmm. Here you go. Is that going to come back to bite me? That might come back to Thanks. bite me. I really appreciate it. My wife is going to be so impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Oh, but next time you're on Earth, I'd love to buy you a drink. Thanks again!
Alright, well, I guess I'll just uh, I'll do a quick wander. Oh, hello there. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Show me oh, what you, you got. Priest, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Oh. Non-human armors? Interesting. Interesting. Uh, maximum units of Metagel? Sure, yeah, I'll take that. Oh, Metagel upgrade too. Oh, that's expensive. Uh, another license for the Quartermaster? Yeah. Uh, let's see your Hello non-human stuff. Welcome to Moreland. Oh, damn it. Yes, all right then. Good tidings to you, human. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Goodbye. Damn it! This, these yes, damn all right controls then. are Good tidings to you, just human. squirrely. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very Come good on. things I have. There you we'll go. see. Ah, okay. Yep, nope. Didn't need to be looking at those. Okay. Are there more peoples to talk to? Nope, just that one guy, right? Yep, just that one guy. Cool. Alright, I guess, uh, I guess we transport. Where are we going now? Hmm. I guess we'll go to the med bay. Ah, uh, this the beginning of this game is is a lot slower than I remembered it. I didn't tell anyone. I swear. Oh no. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut, or we'll... who are you? Let her go. Ah! Good job, Garrus. Hostile spotted. Oh boy. Uh, let's see if we can throw that guy. we got. Oh, jeez. Why are you guys just standing there? Take up. Oh, hi. Hello? Are we gonna... These controls suck, man. Throw that guy. Is that everybody? I think that's everybody. Not in the middle of a fight! I'm not trying to talk to you, I'm trying to get out of cover, Jesus. Alright, I think that's everybody. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. What were you thinking? You could have hit the hostage! There wasn't time to think, I just reacted. I didn't mean to... Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you. All of you. Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Hmm. Where is she now? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. There's so much Saren intrigue. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. 
Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. What else can you tell me about the Quarian? I'm not sure. Like I said, she wanted to trade information for a place to hide. She didn't... Wait a minute. Geth. Her information had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. We need Time to find we'll her. Time to visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. You're a Turian. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. All right. Welcome aboard, Garrus. <laughs> you know, we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yes, Rex! Yeah, we saw him in the bar. The Krogan might come in handy. Last I heard, he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the Academy before he leaves. Move out. Excellent. All right. Well, we definitely want to bring Garrus. And, uh... Hmm. Who do we want? Do we want Ashley or Caden? Let's see. With Garrus, we've got some tech. And we've got some combat. We don't have... Well, I'm I'm biotic, so we got that going for us, which is nice. Caden or Ashley? I'm thinking maybe we just bring Ashley. We could use the extra combat. All right. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. Yeah, you I don't did. know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Me too. Now, was there anything you needed? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? Tell me all My about yourself. My brought me here when I was young. We're not in a hurry or My anything. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. All right. We got armor upgrades. Ooh. Hmm. We could get better health upgrade, or uh, health regeneration. That'd be good. Good lord. That is very expensive. Alright, you know what? I'm going to take a first aid interface. And, uh... Let's see what we need to do to apply that. Oh! Radioactive rounds. Nice. Okay. So, for you... Let's look at your armor. That's your shock absorbers. I'm thinking maybe I apply a first aid interface instead. And, let's see, Ashley could probably also use... Yeah, you've just got the toxic seals. I don't think we need that. Let's give you first aid interference also. And then Garrus. What should we give you? Maybe the... We give you the shock absorbers. There you go. Can we do anything here for you? No, no. Oh, radioactive rounds. Nice. Alright, you can have those. Alright, um... Let's see, I don't think we need that. I'll just turn that into Omnigel. And, uh, do we really need the Toxic Seals? Hmm. I'm gonna keep it for now. And, uh... We 
me see the squad. Hey, got some points. All right, uh, we can unlock pistols. Oh, we were going to unlock stasis. Yes, please. Yeah. Let's get some stasis. And, I think... Let's see, we got one more point. Uh, I think we're going to put that into armor, because I have a bad habit of not paying close enough attention in the middle of combat. <laughs> uh, let's see, two points for Ashley. Hmm. I think uh, I'm going to increase her armor, because we need to get her closer to first aid. Yeah, just straight up armor. And you've got 10 points. Ooh. Let's see. I want to give you some shields. And, uh, oh, good. You've got access to first aid. I'm going to give you some terrain agent points. And, uh, I need better decryption. And then maybe I'll give you some, uh, some assault rifle points. And I think one more in, uh, in first aid. There we go. All right. We're going to call that good. Time to go to CSEC Academy. Ooh, pretty view. Let's go to, uh, no, wards, wards, no, no, all right, I think we can just walk our way down there, can't we, hello, no, not this way, is this the med, yeah, that's the med clinic, oh, right, it's right here, duh, All right. Hey, who we got here? Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? I saw the monument at Akuz. They got a whole section about what? you. What? It's a miracle you survived. They got a like monument to me? I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang. Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Let's see. Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year, and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like that new club they just opened a few months ago, Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You should check it out when you have some time. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the Council wouldn't use them, right? We're just gonna ask absolutely everybody we meet about Spectres, aren't we? Do you know a CSEC <laughs> officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the Force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Well, see you around, Commander. Aw, oh, nice guy. Alright. Let's get over here. Alright, buddy. That's gonna do it for Stream 1 Part 3. I'll catch you tomorrow for Part 4. I'll talk to you soon, brother. I miss you.